already know this is not going to be good. Yeah. I want to say good morning and thank you for being with us. It is a good day, PA. I'm Amy Kemp. And I'm Brett Thackrow with you, and uh, we want to say welcome to the program. And of course, uh, throughout our broadcast today, we have been celebrating the life of our friend and colleague, Greg Mace, uh, the sports director here for 40 years, who passed away this Saturday at the age of 65. Yes, it was a shock to me. Yeah. And I just, I mean, when you see everybody's comments, everybody talking about him, he was such a warm, generous, kind man. Kind of the atypical TV guy because yeah. and I was talking about this this morning, Amy, that so many sportscasters, when you think of them, they have these big personalities. And of course, Greg did when the light was on, but he was so gentle in yeah. person, wasn't he? And so unassuming. Yeah. Uh, that you could really talk about him with everything. And I, I know so many colleagues have worked very closely with Greg, and I, I was somebody that I didn't work a lot with Greg because for most of my time here, we worked opposite shifts. Right. And Greg would always say to me when we would interact or when I would see him, he, he would always pass me and say, and, and you are again? <laughs> and we would talk and joke about that because we were like two passing ships, but he was always there to talk about anything you wanted to talk about, not just sports. I was the same way. I didn't get to work with him one-on-one -on -one all that much because... You know, he was a sportscaster. I was a reporter in the field. I guess my most interaction was when I was the weekend anchor here. He would yes. often work weekends. I mean, he worked all the time. All shifts, yes. You know, and yeah. never complained about it, enjoyed no. it. Um, but he would come in, and it was just like catching up with an old friend. Right. He just immediately felt like you were friends with Greg. Yeah, because he, he was everybody's friend. Yeah, that, he was that is lovely. absolutely correct. And I just think so many people, it seems like, know that. Viewers, yeah. I think. I think you know that because just looking at the comments and people even coming up to me in church wanting to talk about him yesterday, I find a lot of comfort in that, knowing that, oh, you know he was wonderful. And his legacy reaches so far, even beyond central Pennsylvania, with people that he has mentored and helped yes. grow in this business. My husband's one of them. Yeah, like, that's right. Honestly, I mean, it sounds so <laughs> cheesy, but maybe yeah. I wouldn't have my husband if it wasn't for Greg because he invested in my husband. My husband grew his career here, and I met here. Yeah. So just in Greg being a wonderful person, yeah. I have a family. There you go. <laughs> you know, it's just... No doubt. No doubt about it. And Greg's passion for sports really did come across because, like I said, he, he you could tell he loved what he did. And you don't do something for 40 years mm -mm. if you don't love what you do. And he loved this place. He and did. he loved 27. And he loved the people in this building. Yeah, he was such a champion of us, yeah. too. I wore my, my orange today for Greg. My oh, yeah. Orioles orange. <laughs> there you yeah, go. that's what I thought. What did I wear today? I'll wear Orioles orange. 54 today. straight opening days. <sighs> he did. So we do want to tell you, Amy, about um, what uh, the Mace family is doing, and they yes. have announced a celebration of life for Greg, and it's tomorrow night at 730. Amy, it's at the Giants Center, which uh, I think uh, is about the perfect, yeah. most perfect venue for Greg, right? It's the perfect venue because of all the time he spent there, all the relationships there, and because, frankly, we're going to need a really big space. I think a so. A really big space. No doubt. Uh, that's going to be uh, tomorrow night at 730. Doors open at 630, and the service is open to anyone who would like to celebrate Greg's life and his contributions to the central Pennsylvania because area. Because that's the Mace family. Yeah, Everybody's it is. welcome. <laughs> Doors open, and uh, so many of you that, um, as viewers, have been been touched by him over the years you're invited as well and uh, it has been an emotional weekend for us here and really kind of a somber day coming coming yeah. in here you know when I was a little girl I went to Catholic school and we learned about Good Friday yeah I remember coming home to my mom and saying why do they call it Good Friday if that's when Jesus died like <laughs> right. I couldn't understand as a little girl yeah and now I kind of feel like why am I saying good day PA yeah when it's such a sad We're day you know? loss, but at yeah. the same time like it is good because we knew Greg like we, we knew Greg. We to experience him. And it's, we are, that is the mission of what we're going to be doing here, not only today, but the rest of this week. And then tomorrow night, it is a celebration mm -hmm. of Greg's life. Yes. And all of the people that knew him, worked with him, and uh, truly, it was an honor to know the man that he was. Let's bring in James Crumble. Now, he's here with a news update. And James, I know we were talking earlier, but Greg really had this way about him that was unassuming. But... Um, he was larger than life in so many ways, even though he didn't act like it. Absolutely. You know, it's really impressive for me to hear the two of you talk about Greg. And I think that really shows the kind of person that he was, because as you mentioned, Amy, you know, we all did not work with him every day. We all worked different shifts. But the fact that he made such an impact on all of our lives, I think it just is a testament to what type of man he was and what kind of a personality he was here in the newsroom because we always talk about how we are one big family. And, and he is at the center of that. You know, being here for 40 years, you know, that starts somewhere. And that starts with someone like Greg and someone that, you know, a lot of places where you go to work, 
this is like you, you're coming home when you come here. And, this, and it's because of the people and people like Greg yes. that makes that happen. There's a reason so many of us stay here or people like me leave and come back, come back. to the That's season. right. That's yeah. right. Because it is that family environment. So we will continue to talk more about this throughout the day. And I know we have a big plan uh, coming our way tonight. So James, take us away with some other news of the day. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Let's get to our new State Auditor General Eugene D. Pasquale. We'll provide a real-time update on an audit of the Harrisburg School District. This is the second audit update since the district was placed into receivership by the state. Earlier this month, an audit by the new leadership found that millions of dollars were mismanaged and undocumented, including the $12 million the district relies on from federal funding. De Pasquale will provide his update this morning at 11. We will have an update on that coming up today on ABC 27 News at noon. State police are investigating after three people were found dead inside a burning house in Berks County. Investigators say the fire is not what killed them. The three bodies were discovered after a fire broke out in the home's detached garage Saturday evening in Union Township. State police have identified two of the victims, 63-year-old Joanne DeLuca and 60-year-old Ira Reed. They say the name of the third victim will be released when testing and an autopsy is completed. Again, investigators are looking into how the three died and the cause of that fire. Still no word this morning when a Lancaster County supermarket damaged by a fire will reopen. Fire crews were called to the Wise Market on Lincoln Highway in Salisbury Township just after one Sunday morning. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. Store leaders are encouraging customers to go to their other locations in Lancaster during the closure. Employees are being reassigned to other stores. Turning to the 2020 presidential election, former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg is expected to release an advertising campaign today on his run for the White House. The 77-year-old announced his plans yesterday on a campaign website writing, I'm running for president to defeat Donald Trump and rebuild America. Bloomberg is a former Republican running for the Democratic nomination. His massive investments in Democratic priorities like climate change and gun control, backed by his extraordinary personal wealth, could make him a force in the field of Democratic candidates. This morning, Navy Secretary Richard Spencer is out of a job, forced out over the handling of the war crimes case involving Navy SEAL Eddie Gallagher. Gallagher was acquitted by a military court of war crimes in the killing of a teenage ISIS prisoner in Iraq, but convicted for illegally posing with the corpse of that team. The president ordered the Navy to promote Gallagher back to his rank, restoring his pay and pension. In a lengthy letter to the president, Spencer said he could not in good conscience obey an order that he believed violated the sacred oath he took. And Harrisburg International Airport is gearing up for Thanksgiving travelers. The airport expects 30,000 passengers this week. That's a 12% increase from last year. TSA is reminding travelers solid foods like stuffing and pie can be carried on, but liquids like cranberry sauce, gravy, and wine must be checked in a bag. You can have a suitcase full of pie. Yes. Apparently. Yes, yeah. but not, not wine. <laughs> not wine. <laughs> you Maybe disappointing it. to some. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's show you what we have outside. Look at this. Sunny day. What do you think? Perfect. Yeah, it's going to be mild here, and I still have to hang those Christmas lights. I still have not gotten that done, and you know it's a sight for the neighborhood to behold. And, and, and everyone comes out and watches and, and waits for you to fall off the roof. <laughs> <Yeah. so. laughs>